Hi, it's Miss Suzette, and today we're going to do St. Patrick's Day Science. And we're gonna start off with our Magic Milk Leprechaun experiment. So the first thing we're gonna need, of course, is milk. And it needs to be whole milk. It can't be 2% or skim milk, because we need all that fat in there. And we're gonna pour some out in our dish, just like I did here. And then we're gonna make it pretty in rainbow colors. So I'm gonna take my green and do a drop here, and a drop there. And actually I might need a little more milk. It looks like it's not thick enough. Let's do that. And then we're gonna do our yellow. some red. Okay. Then we're going to take our dish detergent. I have Dawn. You can use whatever kind of dish, dish detergent you have at home. And I'm going to pour just a little bit out in a cup. Maybe. And then you can next do this one or two ways. Um, first, you can just take a Q-tip and you're gonna roll it around and get it lots and lots of stuff on there. And then you're going to push it in the middle and drop it to where it'll make it go. You can see how it makes pretty swirly colors. You can do that wherever you find color. You can do your other side. Okay. Now, if you'd rather not use the Q-tip, there's one other way you can do it, and I'm going to do that in a different container. So let's move that over there and bring out a new one. And remember not to drink this milk because it's got soap in it now. Just, you know, for giggles, that would be kind of bad. Um, what we're gonna do is go ahead and put some more rainbow colors in. I'm gonna put closer together this time. You can try making pictures, all sorts of things, however you want to do it. Don't throw it in though, like I have Miss Suzette just did. That's not the way you're supposed to do it. Okay. Then I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to roll it up. And I'm going to do it in half. And I'm going to go in here and get my stuff, my uh, my detergent on it. Like I said, you can use whatever you want at home. And let's see what happens when I do it like that. You can see how it spreads all my colors out and makes them pretty. It just kind of keeps going and going and what it's doing is the this our dish detergent is repelling the milk fats because I don't know if you know this but Dawn doesn't like fat or grease and so that's what it's doing so this is one of the things you can do at home um, something extra you can do is after you get a nice pretty colors is you could take a piece of paper and put it laid on there and it will dye your paper for you and then you just spray it with a little Mod Podge or something like that and it'll help seal it and you have a piece of artwork. And that's all for this experiment. Hi, 
For our second experiment, we're going to do rainbow water beads. And you should have gotten um, a little baggie. So your baggie is probably a little bigger than this. That'll have some rainbow and some few clear water beads in them. And what you're gonna do, and you don't have to use them all at once, you can just put a few in so you can have some to play with later. And just put just a few in. Looks like I'm doing all red. Let's put a green one in there. And, um, and I like the clear ones myself. They're my favorite. And you should have a couple of clear ones. Put one of those in there. And all you do for this one is you pour the water in. You're gonna see they were really, really tiny. See how see how tiny these little guys are? And already it looks like they're getting a little tiny bit bigger. So we're gonna just put them aside and let those grow some. Now in the meantime, I've done some already. So this is what if you leave it overnight they're gonna look like. And I have all different colors. You can see we got a couple of green and blue and purple. And they get pretty big and they're really smushy or they're really hard when they're small. Now this is not to eat in any way or form, even on either size. So make sure you don't put these in your mouth. Um, this is a polymer. And what happens when you put it in water, it just soaks up all that water and makes it bigger and bigger and bigger, and it holds all that water inside. These are good to put in your plants because it'll help keep them um, watered during the day and when it's, when the, um, and they just retain the water so that it just comes out a little bit at a time for your plant. Another really cool thing is you can see here are my clear ones. I told you I like the clear better. You can see they're all jiggly. You can do all play with them. Now watch what happens when I pour water in it. Where did they go? Can you see them? But if I go like this, they're still in there. You can be there invisible in water. And then I thought, well, maybe because it's because they're clear. So that's why you can't see them. And this is water's clear. And so they just kind of the same. So I thought, well, what happens if you put it in, say, green water? And you still can't see them. Well, you at home, you can try putting a light, see if you can see them in the light, different ways, and see if you can see the green ones. Try not to make as big a mess as Miss Suzette, though. But, here we go, there's more in there. <laughs> and that's how you do the water beads. Okay, for our third and final experiment, we're going to make us a green lava lamp. Now, technically, you could make any color you wanted, but we're doing green for St. Patrick's Day. And the first thing you're going to do is take about a half a cup of water, and you're going to mix it with green food coloring. Okay, and then once you've done that, you're going to take your little um, jar here that you should have gotten your supplies, and you're going to fill it up with oil from home, and any oil will work. This is a new one, so it's gonna take a little bit for me to get it open. You're not gonna fill it all the way up. You're gonna fill it, but you're gonna put quite a bit in. And then we're gonna pour in our water. Okay, now we don't wanna fill it, we wanna leave some on top just because we don't want an, a volcano or an explosion. Now if you go too far you might end up with that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our Alka-Seltzer tablets. I'll, 
or whatever, the effervescent antacid and pain reliever tablets. And we're gonna break it into a few pieces and we're gonna drop it in and it's gonna go down into the water because you can see the water's down here. And then it's gonna start making the green go up. If you wanna make it a little more, you could do another one here. This is how you're going to make your lava lamp. And as it stops, you can put some more of this in and keep it going. That's it for today.